Mr. Speaker, the second thing that impresses me in this bill is nuanced. It is the issue of school feeding. And I want to thank Senator Wambu. I, I spoke about this yesterday. Mr. Speaker, if you go to many of our schools, and I've gone now, since schools opened in Nairobi, I've visited now around eight schools. And you look at those children, you will want to shed a tear. Because they're trying to keep brave faces, but they're hungry. At home, there's nothing. The COVID pandemic has had a very, very bad effect on the economy. So their parents are really broke. We used to have a school feeding program. When I was growing up in Nairobi, we used to have maziwa ya nyayo. You know, we'd get milk, you know, in school, which would add the nutrition. And that's why, even as you remember, the first anniversary of the late President Moi, he left a mark. But something we must add, apart, you know, we're, we're giving MCS $4 billion for, for BBI, yet with a similar amount, we can actually feed all our children in schools while helping the economy, eh, Mr. Speaker, because it's the farmers who are growing these things. So, such that the government now buys rice, buys this ndengu, buys uh, maize, and makes sure in school a child at least will get a meal. I don't know how Senator Milgo and I raised it yesterday, what, what, what you have thought about, because it's your committee. We must reintroduce it. In the urban areas in Nairobi, Nairobi is what we call Shambhala Mawe. When you don't have money, you will not eat and you will not sleep because everything you have to pay for. At least for some of you in the rural areas, you know, there's something, even if you pluck off the fence, it is uh, mboga, you know, the, the hedges, the, the, hedges are, uh, the hedges are edible. Your neighbor will give you what you call a gorogoro of maize. But the children in Nairobi and in the urban areas are really suffering. So I think while you've put this here, we must emphasize that aspect of school feeding by government being able to buy this produce from our farmers. I don't think there would be, be a better way to allocate whether it is $5 billion or $10 billion, Mr. Speaker, for our children. Because if a child has nothing in their stomach, nothing will go into their head. Nothing will go into their brains, you know. We've started, you know, together with the private sector, some of the Rotary Clubs where Mutula made me join, some of these people are helping me take food to some schools, but it's not sustainable. As a senator, I can't feed all the kids in Nairobi. So I'd really urge, and I'm glad the leader of majority is here, please, even as we're going through the BPS and this budget pro program, as a senator, please let us think about the issue of feeding our children in schools. I think there's no better thing that we can be able um, um, to do. So